Um, the other big thing this week was uh, WAC 100 went on um, the Dub C and CJ Max show to speak on his side of the whole J Prince situation after J Prince went on there. Do you have any additional details <coughs> on the situation between those two guys and and what's going on with with this Larry Hoover footage? Uh, well, let me just clarify some stuff that hasn't really been explained too well about this whole situation. KC been dealing with this since 1997. I think the interview was done in 1997, either the end of 1997, 1998. The right-hand person that KC was dealing with was a guy named Frog that was a representative of of uh, of Larry Hoover and the family, the mother Winnie. Karen was looking out for Winnie. Matter of fact, so Larry Hoover Jr. came in town with the Rillis and Karen, and that's when they went over to QD3 house. And QD3 gave him a pit bull. I remember that happening. And that's when they were uh, doing the recording on gang related. I'll throw a trivia question. What was the film gang related initially going to be called for those you historians out there? Because the album that we was working on wasn't called Gridlock. I'm sorry, gang related. It was called something else while we did the production on that. See if any of y'all know what it is. The initials is C, just so y'all know when y'all got it right. So, anyway, uh, and so that's why the realest shout out, if y'all listen to the song where the realest rapped on, he shout out Larry Hoover in that song. Like I told y'all, Karen was managing the realest at that particular time. So this all, they flew. As a matter of fact, the Rillers flew with Karen and KC, which is KC and, and J-Flex, and them out to D.C. Got into the White House. Now I'm talking about Karen. And got Bill Clinton to sign off to get permission to go inside the prison and do this filming and taping. She spent like $120,000, $130,000 of her own money to bring this production and to make all of this stuff happen. But that's nothing. The benefit is for the money that was spent by her. Not money. The connection. The political connection that she had to be able to get in there and tape and film and do that recording. And so I just hate that she getting this big bad rap out there like she's just a money hungry female that's trying to benefit and hold Larry Hoover up from getting out of prison and all of that. Y'all don't even know, most of y'all don't even know, Larry Hoover been sitting in prison since 1973. This man been in jail over, over almost 50 years, y'all. 50 years, 49 years. I know some of y'all Googles like the big Zach. But this is a situation, so Kanye, you know, helped get the uh, first act uh, restored. You know, we all know about the first act and the CARE Act and all of that. If y'all don't know, research those. Those are conditionings that people are getting out the federal system for. And... Uh, he helped get that done so Larry Hoover can have a fighting chance. But like I said, all of this stuff wasn't done for no pardon board. And uh, I don't know about the book part, which, you know, Winnie is, uh, is, is saying that it was mainly done and it was supposed to be documented for a book part. That part I can't get into. But all I know is later on they signed off on paperwork for uh, a um, that part of this, uh, a part of the documentary to be placed in 
the uh, American Greed uh, uh, documentary. But I don't want to get into it too much. Wax running with it. It's KC's thing. Hate that no brothers all can't come together and make something happen. Or even like Wack always say, let's let the wives make, let's let the ladies make uh, something happen. Meaning Larry's wife and Karen. Let's let them get on the phone and talk because they did have a relationship before. And so that's all I'm going to say about it. Whatever happens from there happens. Uh, just to clarify, I said that it was a money thing where we all can eat. And I will say it, but like Wax said, he never had no agreement with anybody to make any money. Uh, he was doing it on the strength. So that's his position and that's his statement. There's nothing out there that I can say or Karen can say or anybody can say to say where his mind frame was, uh, whether he just doing it on love or what. But yeah, other than that, Wax speaking nothing but 100 on that situation. Um, there was a video that kind of went into question about when you were running death row, that your salary, they put out some crazy number. It was like a super low number that stated that, you know, they claimed that you made 65000 a year when you were, when you were running um, death row. I, well, I, I think it was right way. That's not true. Not right. so much my salary with death row. I think he was just trying to say that's what I reported to them. Probably. I don't know. I know how to fill out shit like that. That's probably accurate. But I'll just ask y'all this. I had a $2 million house in my name at the time. And I had a building that I qualified for. I had a $3 million loan in Beverly Hills on Wilshire. That was the headquarters for death row offices. And I qualified for all that on $65,000. Y'all keep listening to that groupie. Keep on. Don't know what he's talking about. I'm tired of addressing him because I hate you don't that's me addressing him was like Michael Jordan addressing Luke Walton you just don't do it you don't reach back to nobody that low so I gotta stop doing it you gotta help me and Luke Walton wasn't a bad player Smush Parker y'all remember Smush that's how that's how that is. So I gotta stop doing it. But yeah.